Hi, this is Chef 2K with BorderWork.com, and today we'll be unboxing the Steel Series Kinzu version 2 Pro Edition mouse. Now, this mouse was developed closely with professional gamers to give you the tournament level gaming performance. It gives you the compact simplicity of the original Kinzu mouse with an upgraded optical sensor technology for a higher performance. Alright, and let's see what we have in the box now. Alright, so basically we have the manual and the mouse, and that's it. Now right off the bat, this mouse is very lightweight. It's ambidextrous shape gives it makes this usable by lefties and righties. And below is a terminant grade optical sensor which will test rigorously. And uh, we also have a Teflon pads for low friction glide across whatever surface you use. It's got an extra mouse button below the uh, mouse wheel for switching between custom mouse settings. And you have the basic three button mouse with a clickable scroll wheel which are all programmable. Now we're going to be giving this a try and we'll let you know how this mouse feels. Alright so here we are using the Steel Series Kinzu version 2 Pro Edition mouse and we have the setting now at the highest which is 3200 dpi and you can notice how smooth and quick it is. I'm going to quickly just move the mouse halfway from the middle of the mouse pad to the end and see how many rotations we do. That's a good two and a half. Now Steel Series has done an excellent job delivering a great mouse that gives entry level gamers a mouse that can hang with the big boys. It's compact, it's lightweight, and it's got macro customizations via the Steel Series engine software. Um, the only issue I've seen so far with this is uh, the limitations of that customization. Limitations meaning the hardware. Now what they delivered to us is a mouse with only three clickable buttons. Um, left click, right click, and scroll wheel click. Now the problem with that is that when you customize these buttons to do something else, you really don't have uh, the standard functions of those mouse buttons anymore. You lose that functionality with a customization. What would have been better is if um, SteelSeries gave us like maybe one or two extra uh, buttons dedicated to customizations, leaving our standard buttons alone and intact. But I guess that's for some future version from the guys at SteelSeries. Either way, you're looking at a solid mouse with top-notch responsiveness and a great piece of hardware to own. And once again, this is Shaft2K with borderwork.com.